So how many times uh, have you failed to write something down and uh, something passed you by? So I'm going to do a, uh, a full confession here uh, on why I should have written something down. I'm here today doing this presentation uh, because somebody called me and reminded me that we were to be doing this session today when I had down that we would do it a week from today. Because when we originally talked and discussed this, I didn't write it down, so I went by memory. Um, another situation happened yesterday. Uh, went to a car rental place, put down all the, gave them the credit card, everything, uh, gave them my license, and then the person behind the counter said that my license had expired uh, 15 days ago. I never wrote it down. I never looked. So how does that help us in our business by writing things down? Uh, do you remember the last time, uh, and I'm sure there were times, when you failed to write a bid date down? And before you know it, uh, six months have passed, and uh, a month ago was when the bid took place? Or how about the renewal or the anniversary date of your contract? Now you might say that our contract is ongoing, we really don't have to renew it every year, but wouldn't it be good to know the month ahead and then review what you have done, sit down with your customer, are there any areas over the past year that have needed to, been, needed to be adjusted? Maybe they've added additional space over the years and it, over the year and it hasn't reflected on the current billing. Or just the idea of being able to look at what you're doing today and, and seeing whether there might be some adjustments, uh, even some reductions because of service uh, not having to be provided in certain areas. If we do those things, then we're not going to be surprised or the customer's not going to come to us and say, look, we've been looking at the uh, contract. Uh, it's a little bit too high, so we're going to go out to bid and then all of a sudden we become surprised. So, good idea to write things down.